Welcome to the Day of Accessibility at Space Telescope Science Institute. Uh, my name is Mark Postman. I'm the interim deputy director here, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to this meeting today. Um, what we do here at the Institute is to enable the world to share in the wonder of what are space telescopes, which are either orbiting the Earth or orbiting the Sun as we speak, at least I hope, last time I checked. Um, uh, the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope are the two that are currently operational, and we are preparing to operate a third one, which will be launched in about 2026 20, time frame, the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, which will be another amazing addition to the flagship fleet we have up there. Um, and of course, we are also looking into the sort of mid-future range. At the end of the 2030s, what will we be doing? And uh, we're thinking about yet another amazing space telescope, which NASA is currently referring to as the Habitable Worlds Observatory, which will allow us to potentially find evidence for life on planets around other stars and answer, help us answer the question, are we alone? So that's an amazing future to look forward to. But I wanted to highlight our four goals here at the Institute, which we live by every day in various forms. And um, I hinted at one of, the, one of them already, excel in the science operations of NASA's current and future astrophysics flagship missions. But the other three are equally important. Advanced state-of-the-art astronomical research archives and tools for scientific discovery make the world's astronomical information accessible to all and promote an inclusive, equitable workplace and cultivate a diverse, engaged workforce. And we really do live by all four of those goals here. And the reason we do is because I firmly believe that great ideas and, and innovations about how to achieve those great ideas are not limited by where you are, who you are, what your physical capabilities are. Great ideas exist everywhere. And the more people we can include in achieving those goals, the better we'll be, and the better we'll be able to find things we couldn't have imagined uh, yesterday or today. So with that, I'm very excited to hear how we are going to make sure that what we do here in terms of software and notebooks and other types of tools to explore the universe are made accessible for all. So with that, I welcome you to this meeting, and I'm going to turn it over to Jen. Thank you. Welcome to the Day of Accessibility here at Space Telescope Science Institute. My name is Jen Kotler, and I work here as a user experience designer. Uh, the last few years, I've been immersing myself in accessibility in science and design. Uh, this is my co-organizer, Patrick Smith. Please introduce. Hey, I'm Patrick. I'm chief learner at IOTA School, and I'm a blind coder, um, t you know, teacher, and writer. So we have a, t attendees from a whole bunch of different backgrounds, both in person and online. We have people who design and use various adaptive technologies. We have scientists, technologists, writers, designers, government workers, both local and federal. And we have librarians, accessibility advocates, and a bunch of students. And in fact, later, we're going to have a whole cohort of students from the Baltimore School for the Blind uh, coming. So that's very exciting. Um, some of you are attending in person here at Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, and others are streaming in online, and we have registrants from all over the U.S. and even internationally. Uh, so for those in person, a few quick notes about the facilities. Feel free to move between the lobby, auditorium, bathrooms, cafe, and there's a patio back there as well. Um, all the other areas of the building will require card access, and so they're only for ST employees. Uh, if you need any help or have an accessibility concern uh, or any questions, please feel free to ask me or Patrick um, or anyone wearing a, a badge who is filled in, colored it in with a yellow highlighter. You could just ask anyone for help. I'm sure we'll all, we'll all help each other out. Um, okay. 
And a couple of notes for those online. A link to the closed captioning has been posted in the chat, so you can open that up in a browser to follow along. Uh, and also there's links to uh, the schedule of today and uh, the, there's links to the slides for the talks at that schedule. Uh, this today has been organized by a project called Notebooks for All. Uh, and we have a link to the website and it's in the slides. Um, okay. Quickly go over the schedule. So uh, we're gonna start a talk by Notebooks for All in a, a couple of minutes. Then we'll have a 15 minute break. Then we'll have a talk about uh, accessible text descriptions, alt text, uh, at, about James Webb images. Then we'll have another break. Then we'll have a keynote by Josh Mealy. Then we'll have lunch. Uh, in the, the cafe and where we'll have a lot of touchable graphics and some interactives you can play with. Then we'll have uh, astronomy data sonification talk, a workshop for using screen readers, and then we'll close on how to be an advocate and, and go off into your, as you go off into your daily lives.